Lights out faithful, you already know it's your boy EE and I needed to make you aware of Low Tide City which is happening May 11th through the 12th in beautiful Round Rock, Texas. That's right in the Kalahari Resort. Listen, head over to start.gg slash Low Tide City 2024 because you can use the code LIGHTSOUT20 to get $20 off of your registration or hit that QR code that you see right there on your screen as well. Again, enter that code LIGHTSOUT20 to get $20 off of your registration, and we'll see you there, man. Whole Lights Out Squad. Get ready. Three, two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another delicious, tasty, and sizzling episode of Lights Out. This will be a Lights Out episode 52, presented by our friends at Prize Picks. Don't mind the random Negroes in the back with Cosmos. I do believe he <laughs> knows them. From all uh, from all accounts. And one thing I do most know. Most of them. Yeah, most of them. And one thing I know you guys should know is I know you've been using that low tide city code because low tide city has graduated from a C to a B tier. So make sure you guys keep registering nice. for that event over there in Texas. Keep gassing it up and using that code lights out 20 to get $20 off of your registration. But uh, without further ado, I will uh, like to turn the floor over to you, my friend Cosmos. How are we feeling on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon? I'm feeling pretty good. I had a lot going on, and I just got back from Diamond Dust, the tournament that happened last weekend, and I'm still getting situated because I just moved out of my apartment into Savannah's house, and I'm going to be here for a couple of months. And yeah, content grind starting up again, still grinding the game. I have another tournament this weekend. We're chilling, big chilling. Is this what happens when you no longer have a sponsorship? You just get evicted and you have to move in with a close friend of yours? Because I'm noticing- I don't know. Light is getting towards that territory too, but he's still sponsored. So tell me. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know if that's true because Light's doing the same exact thing. Actually, he was doing it first, and he's been sponsored longer than I have. Like he had a sponsor before I I, I got sponsored, then I got sponsored, and then I left the sponsor, and he was still sponsored. So, well, I think it's just a niggas thing. I, you know what, you might be right, and you know what else is a, a negro thing? <laughs> well, I guess plugging because it's time to plug the newest family member of Lights Out, guys. I want to welcome in Advanced GG. Okay, check them out. You can use the code Lights Out to get ten percent at checkout. We are going to be giving this revenue all to Light to help him once again in his search <laughs> to get a home. They stepped I need in. it now too. Yeah, they well, okay, buddy. You're at least you're not in your car, so calm down. They stepped <laughs> in uh very last minute and uh decided to partner with us for a couple of months. So you're into some good energy that packs a good punch to tighten you up. Well, let me tell you something. It's no secret to how I'm getting through this episode. All right. So check out our friends at Advanced GG. You can do that via the Twitch chat with an exclamation point advanced GG. Or if you're watching on YouTube, of course, it'll be in the description below. So Check out those awesome homies. We're going to be doing some giveaways with them as well, too. Uh, obviously, U.S. and Canon only. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, but with that said, Cosmos, talk to me a little bit. How was your Diamond Dust experience? Ninth place finish. So once again, bridesmaid, never the bride. But you're getting closer and closer to crack. What, did that nigga just have a sword? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on in there, bro? <laughs> hey, man, shit be going down here, bro. You you don't know what niggas got to be dealing with over in Ohio, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> these alien allegations, they not fake. The solar eclipse just happened, bro. You don't know what we're dealing with over here. It was a to totality one over here. You know, it's funny that, you know, I will, I'll pause for a second because you mentioned that solar eclipse. Did you see my tweet that took over Twitter and went viral? I did. I did. Look at this. Stolen okay. tweet. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I said, put this next to the Mona Lisa. It's a picture of the Waffle House under the eclipse. Now, it's not a stolen tweet because this is actually a picture from 2017, which I did not know. Oh, shit. Yeah, but look at that. 30,000 retweets, almost 300,000 likes, over 10K bookmarks. I got bot DMs from people. I don't know who's real, who's a bot, who's an mm -hmm. Elon stooge, who's an OF thought. I don't know what's going on. I just know my DMs have been swarmed, baby. They've been swarmed, and for good reason. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts to the eclipse. For getting me a nice check next week from for them Elon bucks, you know what I'm saying? Do you actually get paid for Twitter? Of course, that? stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, you gotta make a little. Yeah, I mean, you gotta do something to give something. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do something to give something. You know what I'm saying? That's just life, though. Y'all might learn that the hard sure. way. It's facts. Uh, but you did something at Diamond Dust Ninth Place. Tell me a little bit about your run, my guy. I want to hear what led to this. I mean, I had a pretty. 
uh, I won't say satisfying, but had a pretty good but not satisfying weekend because obviously I, I i really wanted to win that tournament i really wanted to play both of the quorum players shattuck and now we'll be talking to shattuck later on yep um but i definitely i definitely felt like had the ability to win that tournament let alone top eight um and i did get a good amount of runbacks because my bracket was full of people that i lost to um because the first person that i notably well i had to play linus the bowser player he's pretty good uh but the first person that i had to play against outside of my pool was alkin which is somebody that i played two years ago at genesis i can genesis yep. eight i believe and i was basically i was shitting on him the entire time i was up to one i was about to win game four and then my controller just shit itself and i just started side being off stage quite literally i did it three times if i do that three times in a, in a row it's not me and there was something definitely wrong with my controller, so I had to get a new one. But I, I side beat off stage game four when I had the winning Forest Mask. Um, and then I did the same thing game five twice. So I lost both my, my leads and just lost the set. Um, so it was pretty nice to be able to play him again and get my run back. Um, it's pretty unfortunate that it was that that happened at a basically P tier and I got my run back at a B plus tier. Um, but it's still like a nice um comfy win for me and then after that i had to play beast mode paul again definitely choked because i definitely had the set um i, I played a lot better than i did at cirque though which is still promising for me but yep. i feel like i definitely i won't say i should have won because i don't like saying that but i definitely could have played a lot better and i could have closed out a lot of scenarios um to go up multiple games so I think I'm definitely I'm 100 percent not 100 percent but I'm definitely very very confident the next time the next time that I play him. Um, but I was very very frustrated when I lost to him, which is why um, I was very frustrated to the point where I didn't want to play anymore. And it's been a while since I felt like that, which is how I know that, that I really do care again, and I really am trying really hard again because it's been a while since I felt like that. Um, but I had to get rid of that feeling because. I had I, I keep doesn't matter what tournament I go to. I have the most unfortunate bullshit bracket at every tournament, like a collision that to run into Spargo. And then I um, lost that, made it late, made it to 17th again. And then had to run into Leo. Every time I'm at 70 plus, I always have to play some hot fucking garbage. And this time the buzz got upset by a Kazuya player, Mirai, I think. And he likes to play against Kazuya. He's just like, he says that it's one of his favorite matchups out of the DLC to play. Wow. So the fact that he just got 3 0 is pretty crazy. Um, so I had to play him and I was extremely frustrated. So I had to get that out of my system. Took a minute, took a breather. Um, basically, like pseudo meditated because I can't be pissed whenever you play. You can't be pissed and play against the buzz. You can't be angry and play against a super defensive player like the buzz or a super aggressive player like Cola, or else they'll just wash your shit like forever like it's horrible um but yeah i played against the buzz and it was probably one of if not the longest set i've ever played in my life not <laughs> only because multiple games were about to go to time and one of the games did go to time but also because in between each game he was stalling like two to three minutes deciding what character he wants to go like we really sat down, really and then i plugged in and then we went to the character select screen and then obviously I'm going Aegis, so I'm like, what what character are you going? He's like, I don't know yet. Let me think about it. That's literally exactly word for word what he said. And then he stopped, sat there for like two minutes. Dark Wizzy was across the table just laughing the entire time <laughs> while he, he, he was playing because the buzz was just sitting there thinking. It's like, this motherfucker is not real. And then he picked Omar and then like the rest is history. But it felt very, very good. Um, because I felt like I was playing very well the entire set. Obviously, I like with the set going that long, it was like 35, 40 minutes. With a set going that long, you're bound to make some mistakes because that's a marathon you have to play against. So I did 100%. make some missing inputs. I did um, not always make the correct play every single time, which is why I ended up going game five because I definitely could have won game two or game three rather. And I definitely could have, yeah, actually, no, I, yeah, I definitely could have won game two because I was up and then I just got basically smashed for Luma up here. And then I definitely could have won game four, but I got smashed for Luma comboed, um, which was pretty cool. And then game five, I was like, I'm just going to try to play. I told myself game five is just one more game. I just have to play basically perfect for one game. And I want that's basically what I did. I just, I want up. you to describe, I'm going to put it on screen right now. I want you to describe 
this comeback that you made against the Buzz Game 5 with, like, 18 seconds. Go. Right. I mean, so I was basically like, I have to kill him. So I get him off stage, and I have to flaming over him because that's the only move that lingers and doesn't make me uh, SD. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go myth Mithra. And the only way I can bring this back is if I do one Mithra combo. And I see him at 38, and I'm like, okay, that's literally any hit gets me at least 40%. So if I hit him once, I bring this back. So since I see Luma across the stage, I just run at him because I know he's going to try to call back Luma, and I just catch him trying to call back back Luma, and I hit him. And I just hit him off stage and do the 43% combo. And then as I see that, I have to go to ledge, and I'm like, I don't know if that does enough damage. So I'm on ledge, and I have to, like, look where where Rosalina is, where Luma is, and look at my percent. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm actually winning. And then I'm like, oh, shit, there's three seconds left. So I just go under the, under the stage and just try to stall out. And he almost hit me. I definitely should have side beat instead. That was actually a, a mistake. If he called back Luma fast enough, he actually probably could have hit me with star bits and probably got the lead back. Um, but obviously, you got five seconds left. We're both tense and fucking stressed out. I definitely just... So had more clutch genes in hit in that scenario than he did. There's a, a video, it's like a side cam video. It's not that good quality, so I'm not gonna put it up, but it shows you like jumping up and then like you like Naruto run to like the other side of the venue. <laughs> what what was that about? Were you just like it is unbelievable? You just made that crazy clutch game yeah, five. Dude, win? I was I was I was just I I never thought that I lost because I, if I see him under 50%, I'm like, okay, that's pretty much one average Mithra combo. If I kill him and get one hit, I can can do that. I'm just surprised that it happened with five seconds to go and that I actually played it outright to see the screen, see my entire scenario, and then actually make the right decision to, to go off stage. And also, it's just that for like the past however long, six months, year even, those, those scenarios are usually scenarios that I would often lose. So the fact that I was able to clutch that out and something that actually made me feel even better about that is the fact that Nao came up to me after that and said that he feels like I've been getting better at games fives. Nice. I feel like I've been getting a lot better at game fives recently because I had a game five against Leon at a game five against um, Iken and I clutched that out. I had a game five against someone else too. And then I had a game five against the, the buzz and, and I clutched it out. Granted, I lost the buzz to the buzz last time, but every other time I played him like at summit, uh, we were game five. He was about to win, and then he made a mistake off stage at Edge Garden at like thirty percent, and he died. Um, same thing happened at Glitch, where we were last hit game five, and he threw Pikmin, and my side B just hitbox lingered, and it, he ran into it. So there's a lot of scenarios where I played the buzz in his game five last hit, and I somehow he always brings out my clutch genes. That's basically what happens. So I feel kind of bad for him to be on the other side of that, but. I'm going to take it because it gives me confidence for the rest of the yeah. rough, ranking system. Rough tournament for the buzz getting 17th, but after the buzz, you beat the Kirby player. And then you know, so you were past 13th, had to play Leo for uh, for ninth, which we'll get into later because I do want to discuss Leo's Roy a little bit later. So I think that'll be a we'll table the conversation there um, and we'll, we'll revisit that for sure. But good stuff on ninth. I do want to bring in uh, somebody else who was at Diamond Dust. Let me at them and let uh, let them know that oh wait is wait is light he said hi i, I guess wait hold on so join question mark all right hold on <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait let me see if light, i guess he's on. back early gotta, i mean we're trying to figure out who like is light joining or is shattic joining okay we'll, she can okay. okay we'll let light join let me add shattic and be like are you okay wait you, 20 minutes can you know what was funny i'm actually gonna ask him because randomly 20. Randomly during the tournament, or I think it was after um, his tournament and after the Saturday day of, of my tournament, he randomly messaged me at like 4 a.m. saying, yo, you up? And obviously I wasn't because I had bracket the next day at like 11 or noon. Oh, is he here? Do you want voice or video? Do I sound bad? Put that video on, man. We miss your face. Bring it up. Put that video on, man. Um. Huh? Oh. You sound good? Yeah, you sound fine. You're good. You're only, here for, like, here. You're only here for like 10 minutes. It's no big deal. Like, He's not here. here. Welcome to the 10-minute light. Yeah, yeah, I literally just got to my house. 
Welcome to the 10-Minute Light segment, coming at you live right now, visiting... Wow, Cosmos, where the hell are you? I'm in Solanus' basement. That's a nice basement. The whole team yeah. is getting evicted. Uh, <laughs> You're next, uh, Jim. What do you want? You want me here for five? That's actually true. He is next. But anyways, uh, you want me here for five minutes. What's up? What you want? Okay, so we want to hear about your... First of all, congratulations on once... Huh? No, 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 no one said nothing about your basement, bro. Oh my God. Sylvana's basement. We, we, like, co- we complimented you, bro. Oh, okay. I was making sure that that was the case. Right, now get out my basement. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. That guy's insane. This is why I don't join anymore. Every time I join, something goes wrong. It's fine. Well, congratulations on once again defending Connecticut by winning CT GamerCon. No one's ever won more than you, so good stuff on that. Has some stiff competition with people like Ling, Zamba, and Jackal there. Tell us a little bit about your experience in the run there, Light. We're curious how you got that dub. That shit was free as fuck. There ain't nothing to tell, bro. I saw Zamba. I was like, it ain't nothing. Matter of fact, Zamba was supposed to get DQ'd because he showed up an hour late, and I switched my bracket with his so that he could play, and I had to play earlier, which could have fucked me over because Guy Guy was supposed to show up and fuck Luigi, but he didn't show up. We take those. So my run was free as fuck. Ling Ling SD'd. Free as fuck. Uh But, um, no, nah, for real, though, I have my heart- jackal, though. I did drop us at the Jackal. Uh, my hardest sets were definitely Ling, Jackal, and Zamba. Um, Ling Ling has been playing very well versus me. I gave him like a bit of advice lately, and I feel like ever since I gave him the advice, he's been playing even better, mm-hmm. which, you know, fuck me. But I mean, that's how I get better if he gets better. So uh, he was doing really good. Unfortunately, he has Dean. From that point, I knew it was over because not only was he just not going to be like, he's not tied with me anymore. I just wasn't nervous anymore. So it's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to wash you now. So after that, I fought Zamba. Me and Zamba and Jackal were both in pretty shitty positions in terms of our sleep schedule because uh, we just didn't take care of ourselves. I was on like three hours of sleep. I drank four Red Bulls that day. Uh, wow. But we, yeah, only drink, really we only drink Advanced now, baby, our newest sponsor. I, I wasn't aware of this. Just keep talking. Oh, they're Jim. paying me. I'm drinking it. Send me some advanced. <laughs> we're gonna get some, we're, and then we're gonna advance in the bracket. Let's keep talking about the run. Shut up. I need, you to, I need you to advance my paycheck. <laughs> you got paid a few days ago. <laughs> Anyways, so I was, um, yeah. So Ling Ling was hard, but I pulled through. I think I would have won anyways, honest, obviously, because I'm just confident. But he has seed, and it made it even easier to win. I think I three stocked him. Zamba, I was a bit scared of. I haven't had a lot of time to practice because of uh, just because I've been sick. I've been looking for apartment stuff. I'm still sick. I actually just got back from the doctors. But um, basically, it's sick. yeah. I, but now it's, I sound like a sick like sniffles or anything like that. I just have a really bad throat right now. Like my throat hurts a lot. I told uh, you to pause. stop. I told you to stop going to those ditty parties, boy. No diddy, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, I haven't been playing that much, but that doesn't really affect me as much anymore since, you know, overall, I just play more, like, all the time now. So uh, I practiced for, like, the four days before the tournament. That was enough. Uh, so I was a little nervous to fight Zamba. Zamba was also on a lack of sleep, just like me. We were also chugging Red Bulls. I beat him pretty convincingly. I thought it should have been 3-0. He cheesed me game three, so 3-1. And then fighting Jackal, I train with Jackal a lot when he does bad in tournaments, like in majors, and he usually like tells me what his thought process is. And it's usually that he is either playing not like how he used to play, he hasn't been practicing as much, or like he's just not believing a lot of interactions, you know? But like, I think when Jackal is fully confident, he plays a style of Wolf. He plays a style of Wolf that makes me feel like Fox loses the matchup. Like, I really don't enjoy fighting Jack when he's playing peak. And I don't think most people would fight him when he's peak. That's why, like, he's so confident. It's really hard for people like Leo or, like, ja- uh, Spargo to, like, do really well versus him because, you know, they're so much higher than Jackal. Jackal doesn't really get nervous versus them. So he usually plays his best. But, like, that variation of Jackal, I think he's, like, top 20, top 15 player easy, honestly. Wow. So when he beat Zamba, I wasn't really surprised because they play a lot. And I don't think Zamba was on his... He wasn't really on his game, and Jackal was. So, like, Jackal was going to run away with that. I ran away with that. So, like, it's just a good example. And then when he came to me, um, 
I knew what I had to do versus Jackal, but I thought I could be a little bit more aggressive than like, I just thought I was able to be more aggressive than what I was able to be. So he ran away with that first set pretty convincingly. The games were close, but like he just took it every time. I think in a last hit scenario, Wolf just has better straight hits to beat Fox, and Wolf also just has better stray hits. Like if we trade, if we trade, uh, it's usually in Wolf's favor, and that's usually really weird because Fox is usually the one who has favorable trades versus most matchups in the game. So with Wolf, it's like really annoying when he beats you in all those trades because his hitboxes are stronger. His nair can beat my nair even if I'm above him, which makes no fucking sense. But uh, yeah, that's a thing. So it's just like he was putting his hitboxes in a lot of like good places. He was moving very well. So and I realized I was way too jittery from drinking four Red Bulls. So after I lost the first set, I immediately got up and uh, I got some water. <laughs> so I got some water. And I was like, okay, you're, you're like, you know, you have to camp, but like, you're like, we've got way too much energy in you right now. So I got water. I tried to calm down. I started camping a lot more. I started looking for the one option that I really had to look for again, not saying it, not trying to get called out on my podcast. So yeah, there was one option I really need to look out for. I looked for it a lot. And I mean, I just played way better and way, not better. I just played smarter. You know, I played smarter and we were playing the same. I just outsmarted him every time I was hitting my two frames. And I mean, I defended that tournament for like the sixth or seventh year in a row. Yep. Made like nine hundred dollars. Lost four hundred of it gambling because it takes place in the casino. Had a great time. Yeah, I uh, level up expo, bro. Same thing. Oh, yes, God. sir. You know, all right. To be fair, that's better than last year. You know what I did last year? Last year I beat Jackal, made a thousand dollars, lost all a thousand of it. Found Jackal, got food, told him how I lost it all, and I flipped him off and said that could have been your money, but now it's no one's. Well, it's you the know, casinos. casinos. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so, I mean, we're growing in more ways. We're getting better at Smash. We're not losing all our money anymore, you know? Yeah. That's listen. And we stopped going to those ditty parties. That's it, man. We can sit down straight now. It feels really good. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. You're able to hold it down in a major way. I think that's really good. And and that's without even what like, was stopping, huh? What was stopping you from sitting down straight before, bro? I can't. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Anyway, so uh, basically, good job on winning that. I know. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I know your next event is going to be the Invitational, right? The LG Invitational. Did they announce oh. the roster for that? Hmm. They did not. I don't think they announced it at all. They did announce it, but they didn't announce uh, the well, roster. I, you're... <laughs> we didn't just lose the sponsor. We also lost the uh, sponsor. Man, we're that's... all free agents except like, uh, hey, guess I mean, come on, guys. You know we're going to be there. Best in the universe, baby. Well, Send to the Patreon. I, yeah, well, good job either way. Um, I don't know when your next event is going to be. Wow, I'm such a jokester over here. Uh, but we, we are proud of you, and we appreciate you uh, taking your time. To uh to tell us about your run. Anything else you want to let us know? Uh no. I think I'm starting to lag, so I don't want to botch the episode. So bye. That was a long delay. So. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very long uh delay. Well, we appreciate Light for coming in and taking his time uh to speak with us about his tournament run. You guys already know. Um, you know, whenever we get a chance to uh, still get him on, of course, we're going to make that happen while he's still getting situated uh, between his apartments. Uh, but you know what? You know, that's one guy you can just never count out. And uh, one thing you can count on with the podcast is EE is going to find a way to shill it up, baby. So I want to talk to you about today's sponsor. You probably know him. And by now, I hope you love him. I'm talking about prize picks. Well, Phil, what the heck is Prize Picks? Well, Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America with the easiest and most exciting way to play. It's just you against the numbers, okay? It's like walking up to a baddie. She's either going to say yes or no, okay? Well, get on that app and see if you're going to win or lose. That's all it is, baby. Instead of battling thousands of players or some thirsty dudes at the bar, it's all about you and the numbers. Football season, it might be over, but the action on the floor is just heating up. Whether it's a tournament season or a fight for a playoff home court, there's no shortage of high stakes in basketball moments this time of the year, okay? Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app where you can turn your hoops knowledge into some serious cash because Prize Picks is really simple to play, okay? I can make my picks and submit them in less than 60 seconds. 
Quick draws, withdrawals, easy gameplay, and enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Okay, use that code in my Twitch chat exclamation point Prize Picks. Check out their offers, their weekly promotions that lead to big payouts, like on Taco Tuesdays, which my fat ass personally really, really enjoys. So make sure you t- download the app today. Use the code Lights Out for your first deposit match of up to a hundred dollars. Okay, code Lights Out. For your first deposit match up to $100, pick more, pick less. It's that easy, baby. Pick prize picks and pick lights out for your code. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Feeling good about that, Cosmos? Yeah. I'm you picking f- it up. You feel like betting? Yeah. Oh, I'm got- going to bet that light finds a house soon. Okay. Well, I think I know somebody that people might bet on right now. Okay. And I'm going to bring them in. We teased them. We talked about it. Now I'm going to add them. You up and let them know it's time, baby. It's time to bring on Shattuck. Yes. The young goat. Hello, Shattuck. Can you hear us? Damn, what a nice setup. Right? Up. I try my best, you know. Wow. That's I, better I, than like every other guest we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I used to stream like, or I said I do stream right now, but actually like early ultimate or I slash quarantine, I was a streamer. But uh, yeah, it's like all this. What's up? Well, Shattuck, I have a very important question to ask you right off the bat, okay? What are you? Are you Indian? Are you Spanish? Are you, Le- <laughs> are you Lebanese? Oh, okay. What are you, man? I need to know. I'm very curious. I'm, I'm, I'm Hispanic. I'm Hispanic. Okay, Hispanic. Yeah, yeah, okay, like we Hispanic. got that. Yeah. All right. All right, well, hola. <laughs> Good to have you hola. here, of course, you know. Uh, very multicultural on this channel, just so you know. Shadda, congratulations on third place at Diamond Dust. A very okay. impressive showing, as per usual. I got to admit, though, when you got to winner's finals, I thought you were going to win the whole thing. I was surprised that you came up short against that little rat bastard. Not the player, the character. Pikachu. Some would say. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, What's going on, yeah, man? Talk you know, to me I, about I it. I thought the same thing. That's the same thing. I always wanted to win the whole thing, but uh, sometimes you just don't play like you, and that's kind of what happened to me. Oh, that's 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 like, The other players just are also playing really good, and it's just like they're up here at the po- at time, point in time. You're down here, and it's just like, well, you try your best, and sometimes you just come out short, and I feel like that's just what just happened. That's fair. Um, yeah, I mean, Shiny Mark was definitely playing very, very well that entire mm-hmm. weekend. He he made Leo's Roy. I'm surprised Leo stayed Roy against him, but he made it look like everybody was not me- just measuring up to him that entire tournament. Yeah. Like he was playing really clean. And like, I, I, the, the players I lost to or like both players I beat him before. And so I was going into both of the sets thinking like, okay, well, no reason why I should lose. But I, I, the entire weekend, actually, I was just like, I don't know, like how I'm playing. And that's how I, I actually always feel, but I ended up like, essentially like focusing up throughout the tournament, but that did not happen this time. I was like, oh, well, mm. I guess it was so, mine. so but, do uh, you feel like you're a player that like, you don't necessarily start out at a hundred percent at the start of the bracket, but you start scaling up and gaining steam I, as the bracket goes on. I think like generally, yeah, but sometimes I'm, I start off, do start off hot. Like, and when I, when that happens, I'm like, oh, like today's the day. But, uh, generally it's like, I start off like kind of mid, but I have faith in myself to like, actually like, uh, speed up, but that did not happen. I'm just like, bro, but is what it is. Yeah. You're you're a very nice guy, Shad. Because I know I know a couple people who would be like, man, them, them, I lost to some ass players. I'm gonna just keep it real. And I that's mean, and listen. And that's just because you know somebody plays Steve or if somebody plays. You know, I get it, I get it. But you single handedly, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. If you were to analyze the gameplay and see what's really happening, you'd just be like, oh yeah, good one, good one. <laughs> I, why did you do that? The, but uh, no, but uh, yeah. Definitely some questionable characters. You don't, you don't, you don't respect Steve players, do you? You don't respect them. You're all right. As a Corin player, I I do not like be hating on them as much as every other character base because my character actually has a chance. I feel, but uh, sometimes I be looking at the options. I'm like, oh, so you want neutral with rolling up tilt, and then next time you did roll up tilt again, and then (laughs) nothing changed. Yeah, (laughs) nothing. Um, But uh, you know. Um, they chose the character, so good for them. Good for them. Well, I, I think you have single-handedly uh, been the the strong runner of this corn revolution, okay? Which I've been talking about for a while. But we have people who are corn deniers, okay? People who refuse to admit that corn is a good character or piloted right? by crazy. good players, okay? 
<laughs> That's crazy. Now, now I who would think that? Who would think that? Well, Cosmos, I think you might be in that category. So now that we have Shattuck here, okay, you didn't get to meet him in bracket, but you get to meet him right now. Tell him your real feelings about corn, Jim. Let's hear it. Me? Yeah, go ahead. Talk that shit. I there's nothing to say. Oh, here we go. I, I've said it every here we go. episode for the past two, three, four, five, six months. Shattuck is good as fuck, and he's yeah. elevating mid. That's what he's doing. He's elevating mid. It's like it's like I feel like you 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 know how I feel right now. Right now, I feel like I'm Nairo. I feel like I'm Nairo talking about cloud. <laughs> and with, with with how Spargo is was just destroying everybody with Cloud, and nobody else was 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 doing it. And now we're talking about how Cloud sucks, and then everybody just keeps getting farmed by Cloud. Mm-hmm. But he can't play against them, and I feel like that's me right now because I'm not making it to the corn players. And obviously, last time I beat Shattuck, it was like a year ago. It was Game Five, last hit. Yeah, but I still feel year. like. Yeah. I wasn't playing that well, and I still feel like I would have done a lot better. I feel like I I wasn't playing that well. You you wanted my opinion, but I definitely feel like I wasn't playing that well. But this this is a year ago. That's great. Okay, okay, okay. We could have played a diamond dust, but something happened that that didn't happen. I don't know. Something (laughs) something did happen, and Uh, you know what? You better not run into me in the next bracket because that Swift three zero is coming. Oh, okay, right. And and my favorite. And 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 you know what? I might even do it with corn because you need to know who the OG no. is. So, the OG. We want to go back the to the OG. other set that we played. Y'all want to look at game one real quick? Game one. Three that was spots. battle matter. And also, uh, we're not even going to talk about that time where we played during quarantine online and we did that first t- first ten because you picked Yoshi Story for like every. Okay, I wasn't going to bring that up. Hello, All right. But nothing. I'm saying. Some people need to know who the OG is. So you, you the get the OG. Corn. Mayo, yeah. you might get the corn too. Y'all yeah, doing all much. the things that I was doing in Smash 4, and I'm happy to see I'm happy for y'all's success. Mm. I'm happy that corn is good. <laughs> she ain't great, but she's good. And that's all that matters. I don't know how much being the OG matters. Because, you know, when the going gets tough, she just said, bye, corn, you know, laters, you know, don't got pin no more. And uh, we dropped her. We picked up Aegis. And we're still not we're not up there yet, but uh, I I I stick with her because I'm loyal. But uh, I t- top ten right now, and uh, it's going good for me. It's so OD. definitely, oh, you better hope you don't run into me. In hold, hold on, he said he said Great. you're not up here, but that's crazy. You know, now Shattuck, now Shattuck, you have to know your history for the game. You know, this man got second place at Smash World Tour. Okay, okay. Right? Second place, Smash World Tour, one big house, Smash 4, one glitch, one, one shine. Have you won a major in this game? Have you won a major in it? I don't game yet. Cirk 3, that happened about a month ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did win, right. right. yeah, have, yeah. have you Have you won an S tier yet? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I got second beating second oh second that, like, second mm-hmm, mm-hmm. wait 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 so what comes after second okay what, wait so what, what was the what was the s tier that you won glitch over glitch. zomba how, how do we know that was also okay. i want to turn shine over tweak okay. over over light over okay zomba light was a tournament i won second at zomba smash world tour <laughs> basically a peter over spargo you haven't okay. beat spargo yet yeah. over yeah you beat it zomba Spargo knows how to beat Zidish, but uh, he's talked about me before. He's like, I'm not going that character. Oh, by mm. the way, you know I beat Shuton, right? Just so you know. You know I beat Shuton, You did right? beat Shuton. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. You did beat him. You did beat him. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this is crazy because that 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 match really does suck. The, the fact that you beat both of us, that is pretty crazy. I I will give give you that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. I will give but, uh, you that. All, not- the st- all the stuff that I haven't done yet, it's just a matter of time. Like, it's really just a right. matter of time. It's a matter of time, but it hasn't mm-hmm. happened yet. doesn't matter. Yeah. We in the present. We not in the future. We oh, we're, we're, not we're not in the, in the past, present we're not, now. We're not in the past either, huh? So why we keep bringing up that we're the OG? We the OG. <laughs> like, okay. Because I'm past. still the OG now. No, that's not the past. That's the present, my nigga. We, I'm still we, the OG we, now. And I'll we, always be the OG. We, it don't I, matter if I you win five corn. majors. 
We add like it don't matter. Like nah, nah, like nah. Not, it don't matter if you win out. five majors. It don't matter if you win ten, ten majors. It don't matter if you graduate high school, graduate college. I'm still gonna be the OG. That's me. Okay. That's me. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me let's let me reel this in a little bit. I appreciate the passion from both sides, which I think is really good. Okay, and that's that's good because I love the fact that players I like care. Okay, that's always very important. But I want to reel this in a little bit so. You guys haven't had a chance to play in a little while. I think it'll make for a very uh, good showing when you guys inevitably do play each other. Uh, but I do want to, you know, it'll be. <laughs> uh, Shattuck, you know, this is. Okay, Shattuck, let me ask you a question. What up? How often do you feel like you find yourself in a position where somebody's downplaying you and you have to, you got to, you got to show them what's up? How many players have you encountered? Or they probably been sleeping on you and you had to put them in a coffin. A few. Can't name any. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not a name dropper. Okay. But uh maybe not player specific. I think at, at some point people started respecting me. But it's more so like the community mm. and like the like the consciousness of like the match like scene, like people just thinking like, which I think alright, but uh yeah. coin's alright. And just time and time again, gotta show people over and over because it's like people just forget everything that happens. Even like they're like, "Oh, okay, I remember that." And then and then something else happens, and they're like, "All right, okay, old news, I guess." And uh, <laughs> constantly That's has to remind shit. them. Uh, and so just over and over, I'll do it until people get it in their head. How old are you? I can do. How old are you? I'm 16. You're 16, so you do all this. Well, because I remember like the reason we started lights out a little bit later today is we had to wait for you to get out of school. So you do all this. While balancing school, is that correct? Yes. Now, let me ask you a question. Do your smash performance and your grades in school correlate? Are you an A student, Shattuck? I am an A student, yes, okay. sir. You know how I knew you were an A student? Because you know. bring your A game to tournaments, okay? It just it goes hand in hand. One plus one is 21. Or one, wow, one plus, <laughs> one, one plus one is two. School. I, I had a, Stay I, in school, Shannon. No, I had a, don't be like this, wasn't an A student. I, I had a different analogy I was going for. I, just, I choked it away. I got nervous. I got nervous. I got nervous. Uh, but yes, no, that's very good. That's very good. Okay, tiers. Where is corn rank on the tier list? Go. High tier. High tier? Uh, top, top 20. I wouldn't say top. I I just need I just need everybody to know. I think the highest I've ever said corn was this is like quarantine was like top fifteen. Okay. And ever since then, that was like the highest. To be fair, I I said the same exact thing. Yeah, quarantine. yeah. You definitely but, like. But also, your tier, your not tierless, your matchup chart. Does I need to not update make corn look I need, like. I need to update that actually. But uh, um, she has like twelve bad matchups. Maybe not even. Okay. In my that's, opinion. That's pretty decent. But I forget what I have my my match chart that everybody keeps pulling up. It's like from July 2020. What do you think about but, uh, Pilot? Why? But I Be, think it's because a, I I no, like just the, the character you now. Because the way oh. I always like rate Corrin is I always say that she's around the same tier as Violet. Because I feel like the way that Corrin plays isn't necessarily the exact same, but like she has similar strengths and weaknesses. Um, or similar, same amount of strengths and weaknesses, and I feel like it makes her hover around the same rank on the tier list as Violet, which is why she can perform the same way that obviously Leo was performing when he was mainly Violet. I would say she's better than Violet. That's just my opinion. I just value Corrin's strengths so so high, and like all of her weaknesses, which are just like a lot of them are universal in my opinion. Like disadvantage state, like she just doesn't have any special thing about that. She's she's slow, but like that very rarely gets abused unless you're playing someone that's absurdly fast. And like her recovery, nobody be edge guarding her unless you play an edge guarding character or have a move that just does it for you. Um, <laughs> throw up B. Uh, but pretty good character. Like Violet, I don't know. She Violet just don't be doing it. Like Leo dropped her and or Violet dropped, is trash. I don't know. He's pulling her out, but uh, I don't know. He only pulls out Violet for Dark Wizzy. Okay, we just talk about it. He only pulls out Violet for Wizzy. It's Wizzy. targeted. It's targeted harassment, and it needs to stop. Or Dark Wizzy. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it out there right there. It needs to At stop. At least Wizzy's only losing to Violet. At this point, I'm losing to Leo's it, random. Was it Violet? Was it, was it Wizzy the only Mario that he went Violet against? The only one I remember. 
I think so. We keep it real with you. I just lost like every other Mario, but you know, it's it's, t- it's yeah. tough. Now, do you? So you? So you clearly have enough faith in this character because I've always said I feel like this game, depending on who you play, is a is a two character at minimum kind of meta these days. Like, that's just my opinion. That's just what I think, right? But you, along with a handful of other people, you solo main, you do your thing, and you like you've had this rise to prominence has been very impressive to watch. I want to let you know something. Like I, you know. I, I big fan of all the young players always doing it big, and you're certainly one of my favorite yeah, players right dope. now. Thank you. Like, come on, man. You know I ain't fake around here, so I appreciate that. But for you, is there any chance that we could ever see a Shattuck secondary, or is you, I mean, are you ride or die with corner? Is there any chance we could see a Shattuck secondary? Do, do, do you have a secondary? I'm very curious about this. Did you play Smash before Corin? Yes. I played Who's like play? Brawl when I was seven. Oh, I, before Corey, I didn't necessarily have a main. I went to my first tournament, saw Corin, was winning against these random people, and I played Corin. It's literally that simple. It's okay. literally, literally that simple. At like a con tournament in 2016. But uh, anyways, uh, I forgot the question. Oh, Will yeah, we, secondary. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, probably, probably not. You know how many? It's been years, 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 years. So many people telling me, yo, you should pick up another character. So many times. It's actually like unbelievable. Like, <laughs> like how many times people like will see me like win and they'll still be like, yeah, that's good though. But uh if you if you did it with this character, you wouldn't been here a lot faster. And I'm just like, <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you, man, because I'm gonna get there at some point, maybe not as fast as I could have, but right. I don't know. Just this well, t- I don't feel like corn corn just fits me so so well. And I just feel that way. And I've played other characters before, like not like giving them a right. real shot, like not realistically, but I just believe in her so much. And I don't see myself unless I were to play someone who I lost to 10 million million times. Like that's the <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know what's going on back there. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know. We're we're still trying to figure it out, bro. I don't know. Uh, he, he just got back from work, man. All right. That, uh, that mail no, is but, gone now. I can tell you that. Uh, yeah, but um, no, Troy answer probably not. Okay, that's yeah. fair. That that's a very fair answer, and and I kind of expected that low key. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, personally, I think sometimes you just got that one soul main that just fits you well, and I think you have found yours. Can you pinpoint the exact moment where you like had this? Because I can't quite recall, but can you pinpoint this exact moment where you had this breakout that's just been a steady streak of just either wins or top eights. Do you know the tournament where it just clicked and you just started putting it all together? I guess SmashCon, probably. Okay. Because I got ninth. And, yep. like, I played Riddles. It was, like, a really close game five. I got stock, but barely. But, and then I played Zombo for top eight. Uh, but the thing about that tournament was, like, that was a tournament where, like, I read that, t- that book, the book, uh, The Inner Game of Tennis, and it helped my mentality so much. And that was a tournament where, like, I was focusing up. Like, I was bother viewing, like... For every single matchup tournament, I literally prepared for hours, for literal hours, for the matchups that I wasn't familiar with, like Olimar. Um, and like I played Candle, so I played like the Buzz and True Tonic friendlies, and like just Pikachu. Like I had to play Esam, so I like looked at my Shiny Mark wads and like all that stuff. And that's like one of the first times where I put like so much work into it, and I got ninth at like a P tier, yeah. And so that was definitely the start of it. And then at Rising Grind, I got top eight, and then Big House was like a B plus, whatever. I took a top eight, and then. Top eight Miami, and that ever since then, I've just been doing the same thing over and over with the whole beat thing. Beat Leo, beat Riddles for the first time after I lost to him, and then what else did I beat? Cola, Zamba. After I lost to Zamba at SmashCon, like just damn. You really, I, really you really just be, working. Yeah, did you beat? Yeah, did you beat Mia? Working. I beat Mia. At you beat Mia at Cirque. Yeah, yeah, you beat me at Cirque. So, like, Cirque. I, the thing with Mia was like I somehow found a way to essentially play him three times in one weekend. Because I played him at Levitational, uh, winning in five. I played him in doubles, which like, and you know, in doubles, it's always not singles, but there are some moments where like you're kind of playing someone one on one. And so I, I literally was last stuck with him in one of the games. And so I had to experience that. And then I feel like because of those sets, I was able to win the Cirque set. Like, and I just won get three, three, one. I was like, yeah. Because like, imagine like if I didn't play him that same weekend and people were just like, oh yeah, me, me, I just farmed him or something. I don't know. But it's I got my chance and now people don't have the chance to say that. So, yeah. re, re, recently got <laughs> geez, Louise, recently got a a light win as well which is which is huge oh, yeah. after you know because i i called light out on a podcast when he said i'll never lose a shack and then the next week he lost it i thought that was very 
uh, amusing. Not as like uh, a, a bad Light thing. Definitely, but. definitely said that something along the lines of like he could see himself losing to me. Or didn't he say something along the lines of like, you know, I was he said like he he. he he didn't say that he would never see himself losing the shadow. He said that he was one of the people that respected you from the very beginning, but that's why he gets he doesn't get nervous whenever I'll, he plays I'll definitely, against you. We never talk about him like in a bad manner or anything because he's always he's definitely he's come up come up to me like a few times and say like good job on the recent success and everything like that. And he's proud of me and like he's always supports. So definitely like good nope. guy. So yeah. So yeah, we we like light. Yeah, light. Me and light are the positive members of the pocket. It's Cosmos who's the negative. Shut the fuck who, up. Who's the negative? I, I literally am. You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna get into. It's this. the negative you know Nancy. It, it's it's because you have a supportive father figure in your we, life. We, we don't gotta have, to have, have good Mark cop, Phillips, bad cop. That's what we have to have. Oh my God. Uh, we don't have supportive father figures in our lives, so sometimes we we lash out. No, I do. We, exactly. The dad daddy talked. That's a great topic, actually, daddy. This motherfucker, respectfully, sir, this motherfucker is awesome. I just want to say that out there. Any parent, any parent, parental figure who supports their kids' passions and hobbies like that, I think are awesome. So, Dadic, a big fan awesome. of Dadic right there. So, when um when it comes to your father, right, how important do you feel like he is to your tournament success? Because it feels like you guys have just an amazing relationship, and I love that. Definitely kind of the reason I'm playing this game at all, because the only one that would be taking me, like, Mm. Back in, in Smash 4 days, like he was the only one taking me, always there, always driving me back, like no complaints. Just he saw I was doing good in school and he was like, Oh, you want to go to tournaments? Like, let's go. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, and like, just biggest supporter of all time. Like, um, no, nobody even comes close. Like, it's actually absurd. Watches all of my videos, everything that has my face in it or my name in it, watches it like multiple times. Uh, always there when I'm achieving in the chat different right things. Now. Oh, yeah. Is he in the chat For right sure. now? Yo, what up, Daddick? What up, Daddick? Much That's love to you, dope. bro. That's the homie he, right he there. Watches, he watches a lot of Smash content. He watches these podcasts all the time. Like, no joke. It's funny, because um, my mom actually watches a lot of uh, Smash content, too. Like, she, she has her favorite players. She's probably watching right now. What's up, mom? Because uh, she's like, she's like actually a really big fan. So I love that parents can get uh, involved like that. So that's really good. That's good to know. So beyond that, though, you obviously mentioned the fact that, yo, like, I'm really good at school. I'm doing big things. Yeah, as talented as you are when it comes to Smash, I want to go a step further than Smash. I want to go beyond Smash. Shattuck, what do you want to do with your life? What are you going to do? What are, when we talk about in 10 years from now, where are we going to see Shattuck? So you want me as a 16-year-old to have an actual good response for you right that's now? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. I will. That, that's the amount okay. of faith I have in your so, ability. So, all right. <laughs> Naruto uh, did it. Okage, nigga. Okay, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know about that. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, look, man, I'm just gonna. I just want to do what I want to do in life. Like I want whatever I choose. I just want to be happy. Like which, I guess it's everybody's answers. But I don't have like, like I want to go to college. But I'm not sure for what yet. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, but I have. I'm doing well in school, so I have a good chance to get into something that will actually support me in my career. But uh. Definitely don't have a solidified answer yet. I just want to do something that I enjoy, not just work for the rest of my life. Okay, that's and I think fair. I'm doing good work progress to that. Goal, I th so, you're yeah. doing outstanding work. I mean, look at like look at like look. You're one of, of the people on the screen right now. Look, we're the only ones with sponsors. All right, coming soon, Cosmos. We got you coming soon. Okay, coming soon. Talk to me about Stride a little bit because I actually I kind of oh, like Stride. Sure. There's some there's some nice uh some nice people. They seem like they're trying to invest a lot in the content game. How do you? How did that sponsorship come to be? Literally, they just reached out to my dad and I, put our DMs, and we responded. And oh, they wait. turned out to be as big as they are, <laughs> okay. honestly. But uh, said, but uh, it's awesome. I'm really happy to be a part of the team. Okay. <clears throat> so that's uh, the that's the pub, that's the the PC public answer. I'm, I'm gonna bring something up, and I want to show you something. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want to show you something because I'm gonna I'm gonna. I might catch some flack for this, but that's okay. Let's see. Also, uh, they are like official, <laughs> official. I think it's actually like my first like actual real org, like unironically, because they have like esports, like actual theme stuff. Because I be taking my like, headshots and stuff, mm -hmm. and they be, they be paying for my travel and stuff like that. So shout out to them. Let's shut now. That's huge. I want to say that's huge because let me tell you something. There's a lot of garage band sponsorships out there, and what do I mean by garage band? Anybody can start one up and they ain't doing shit. There's a lot of them out there. I'm glad Stride is not one. I never got that vibe. I've worked with them before on like an online smash thing last year. It was a lot of fun. So shout outs to Stride. Okay. 
But I will give you a critique. Do you have the stream up? Can you see the stream? Yeah. Okay. Look at the screen right now. I want to show you something. Okay. Do you see what? The, do you see what this picture is? You see the picture up there? Yeah. Yeah. My boy MVD. My boy Shattuck. We won Cirque. Nigga, we. We? we? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're no, not doing no, that. No. Mute, mute got second. Mute got second. Yeah, then mute should be on the picture. Ain't no we. <laughs> Ain't no we. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? Ain't no we. Ain't no we. They jump in MVD. No. Oh, my God. I thought that was funny. We, I just... we a team out here. We have family out here. It, it's a us kind of thing. You know? I like that. Y'all against the world. Wins, we all win. Okay. I like that. That's that's a good mentality. To be to fair, have. to be fair, if 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 light wins a tournament, we we say we won Genesis. So you know, <laughs> low what? key, low key. I'll, I'll, I'll give it up. High key, high key. I'll give it up. I I do live vicariously. If Leo wins, too. we say we all won Genesis. All right, because we're all rooting for Leo at this point. Against the problems. Oh my God. Exactly. Do you do you as a solo main yourself? Do you have a critique going on Leo's character choices? What do you think? I mean, he just whipped okay. out the Roy. Like, what's going on? With I. That? I actually got to play uh, Leo's Roy in Friendlies, and let me tell you, Leo is just so, so smart. Like, it's actually ridiculous how fast he yeah. adapts. Like, I've been playing other Roy's, like Cola. I haven't played Goblin in, like, forever. But, like, it's just absurd. Like, the changes that he makes so fast and the counterplay that he, like, puts in is so perfect. It's like, different. It's really insane. Dude, like, I was, the, like, I was, the way that he reacts to, like, weak hit. Mm -hmm. moves oh, i was like how are like, you even doing that already like i swear like they'd be like struggling but uh no but it's really good okay but overall his character choices he has such a wide variety of choices and like sometimes he'd be choosing these characters against specific matchups i'm just like but why not this character but i feel like you cannot convince that man of anything i mean i haven't tried but i, I see him like other people try their best like yo, yo, yo you should go joker or you should maybe pull out the bike <laughs> with their court again and he's just like nah but uh, it, it is it, it, it. He plays what he chooses, so he's gonna do as well he's as he plays. But definitely just a great player, obviously. But uh, some of the character choices be a little sus, must <laughs> but uh, but he gets to play whatever he wants. So he he does. Fun. He he gets the job done. Like, much like yourself, I feel like this uh this role that you've been on as of late, there's just no signs of it slowing down. Like whenever I see Shattuck at a tournament, my expectation my expectations now. Or a minimum of a top four appearance. I don't care who's in attendance. Like you, you could send your ass over to Japan, and I think you would handle business, okay? Because you know you you are the best corn for the record, which which you reestablished at Diamond Dust when you handily defeated Nao. Now I know it must have been soul crushing when because I remember like at Smash Con, I remember the five zero beat down, and then at Genesis he gets you in the first, the opener of the top eight, and then you spanked him at Diamond Dust. Okay, does the do you think the corn ditto has a lot of it validates a lot on who is the best corn, or you just think straight up you're just a better player than Nao. I think like it has like a small significance. Definitely like a, there's something there. Like it okay. means something. It's not everything though. Uh, it's just really weird to look at though, because how can I win so solidly one time and the next, the other time just like I I lost. But the the matchup itself, it's obviously it's a ditto. I just really hate it. It's just actually so annoying to play against Korn. I, I, every time people, I ask Korn, like, oh, you like this character? And like, no. I do not like playing against <laughs> you, your character. Nothing. I was like, all right, I guess. I, I actually see it. But uh, in regards, like, if it decides, like, who the better player is, a little bit, a little bit. But uh, I think one of us is the better player. Y'all can decide who that is. Um, it's you. One of, us, one of us has been playing longer than the other. There's a fact for that. Um, but also just like along with like who gets the better results. Okay. I like I, I like Nao. I got nothing sure. against Nao, but I'm team Shattuck because I think Shattuck is 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 automatic. You know what I'm saying? He gonna he gonna he gonna show up and gonna do what he does. Nao cool consistently. Though. Nao, cool Nao is cool. We got no beef with Nao. Don't don't tell your people, don't send your people over here. We cool. It's, it's all love over here, man. We ain't bring the drama or nothing like that. But uh you definitely bring the results. Uh, I do got one more thing to ask you before you get up out of here, because we do appreciate you, of course, lending us your time. <laughs> okay. So if we can't get a showdown between you and Cosmos in bracket, like the next the, the next couple of tournaments or whatever, okay? Can we agree a first to five between Cosmos and Shattuck? Can we make that happen? As, as, long, as long as it's not online. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I'll bring the equipment. I'll, I'll organize it myself. The lights out, Invitational. Shattuck, 
Cosmos, first of five. Could we make that happen? Would you got who who would be willing? I'd do it. Uh, Frame yeah. one. You're down? Yeah. I would do it. Okay. I would go quarantine if I had to. Stop with this. Okay. Stop with this. You don't even play the character. Make anymore, it easier. Like, I do. Who who's gonna win? Yo, what's up? <laughs> I said who's gonna win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's you. Know, I'm asking both of you. That's yeah, both of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, we both have the answer. It's gonna be me. I'm gonna let the game decide. Don't worry. Don't I, oh, okay. I am eager to see this showdown. I hope it happens at Torment, but if it does it for the people, uh, we gotta definitely make it happen regardless. Yeah, this your plan all along, huh? Yeah, come on, man. You know, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm always pulling all them all strings. All in all, all in all, jokes aside, I am really happy for you. Like, I am very happy that you've been doing very well recently because I know that you've been very motivated, even like back in Smash 4. Uh, you would ask me questions sometimes and like I would help you and everything. So to see you come this far, even from back then um, and not giving up, that is very biblical to, to see. So I really am happy for you. Biblical. So, biblical. so <laughs> I I will formally apologize to you. I will formally apologize <laughs> that you will not be able to be the OG like me. But you know what? Maybe one day in the future you can get close. Sit down in your seat, Jim. <laughs> down, please. <laughs> oh god all right i sure whatever you, you know i never expect an apology for nothing but i'll take it i guess but i, I don't keep, know keep doing keep doing god's work because you're doing great and i'm I, I i always love watching you play it's it's always a treat all right thank you thank you there we go let's let's end on some positivity i love it what is your next event going to be shadow where are the people going to get able to see you compete next uh something that i'm not sure if i'm allowed to say yet well, you're, okay. going to, you're going to an invitation, kind of right? That. Yeah. Look, I'm just going to be honest. At this point, I didn't leak. Beauty, leak light. I already leaked light. I'm, I'm a, if you're on the podcast and you're going to an invitation, I'm just leaking it. Okay, light's going. Chad is going. That's it. Lips are sealed for the rest of the, the, rest of the lineup. I'll leave it at that. But yes, uh, that'll be exciting to see. I know you never got to go to a summit. So I think um, going to any. I'm so sad about that was right. actually one of my definitely goals for like Smash. Hey, hey we, we, we got watch. <laughs> we got for one. We got watch the throne yeah, now, did. brother. We got watch yeah. the throne now. You good? We got you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We got we got some good things for watch the throne, too. So uh, we'll definitely uh, we'll make it happen. But uh, thank you so much for joining us. Shattuck. 10 out of 10 okay. interview. Thanks 10 out of 10 player. No, nah, man, that's that's it's all love, man. Tell and, and shout yourself out, man. Where can we where can they find sure. you? Sure. Uh, YouTube and Twitter at Shadik underscore Twitch Shadik. And I also got to shout out my sponsor. Uh, definitely. They have their own uh, podcast, which they might be doing after this, actually. Um, Twitch is like Shadik, uh, esports underscore stride along with their Twitter. And YouTube is like stride GG, where they post like the, the vlogs, which are like really cool because you get to like sh see what the players are up to outside of the bracket, which yep. is really cool. And also uh, the, their website, stride.gg. Get merch. Use code Shadik10 for 10% off your purchase. Why not? Yeah. No doubt about it. I will be um, putting links to everything uh, below in the description. So I got you, my man. Thank you so much for joining us, Shattuck. It was a pleasure. No problem. See ya. Peace. All Peace. respect. All love. All love. All love. All love. <laughs> all love. All love. <laughs> that was the homie right there, Shattuck. 10 out of 10. I, uh, I, I love Shattuck. Shattuck's cool, he's man. so fun to talk to. He's cool, man. He's, he's a cool I didn't know he was that fun to talk to. Yeah, he's a funny He's a funny kid, man. You know, he's 16. He's a young buck, and uh, he holds it down in bracket and clearly can hold it down on the podcast. We get a little we get a little extra around here, and he wasn't uh, having any issues. Um, uh, last kind of couple points of order. Uh, I know he was mentioning, uh, he mentioned Leo's Roy, which I thought was cool. Your thoughts, or I wanted to get your thoughts on Leo's Roy because I know you lost to Leo's Roy for ninth place at Diamond Dust. Uh, what what is it about this guy and just having to face him and his multitude of wacky ass characters? What is it? I don't know, man. Like everything aside, his Roy. First of all, playing against me specifically, it's definitely one of the reasons why Spargo would never play against him as Aegis again because of that one time where he won Joker and he were reverse three out as Aegis with Joker. Um, he just, he just, he plays a character, he practices against a character, and he just really knows how to fight against store characters. So to play against Leo that, against a store character that he plays is already difficult enough. Um, and then having to play against a store character that he also practices against 
also gets really difficult because I think he also I forgot who it was. Somebody that I played at Smash World Tour, I don't remember his his name, um, but he played played easy. And I know it was one of Leo's practice partners at some point. So he's very, very well versed uh of the in and outs of Aegis. Um but his Roy was there was something about it where his like tempo was shifting back and forth. He would he knows because most Roy's play just really fast, hyper aggro, trying to mash on you because a lot of their stuff is safe on shield and just pressure you over and over again. But he was willing, Cloudy, that's his name. Thank you. Um, but yeah, he he was willing to like take a step and just wait for a second and just watch what I'm doing. And obviously I'm used to playing against other Roy's where they just run at you. So I'm just running away and try to whip punish them. But I would run back and he would just stand there and it was just shocking that that scenario happened at all against any Roy player. That's never happened to me. Um, but that and just his his mastery and knowledge of playing sword characters in general, it's like it doesn't matter if the character's fast or slow or the sword is small or the sword is huge or it doesn't matter if he's playing Sephiroth or he's playing Men Knight with a small ass sword. If the character has a sword, he's going to be one of the best players in the world with that character. It doesn't matter what the properties of the sword are, it is he I've never played a Roy player that would react off sour spot hit sour spot back here and just see it and dash at me and forest mash and like i could see the split second that he's he's waiting to know that it's not just he's doing it and guessing he's actually seeing it yeah. and reacting to it that's insane he hit me with that at like 45 and i die so whenever you get stuff like that you're it's going to be really easy for you to get huge leads or make a comeback and it's like you're never out of the game at that point there is that one game where he, where he was playing against shiny mark um he obviously lost to shiny mark but shiny mark was three stocking him and then he just was bringing it back he brought it back to last hit because he was just able to kill him early yeah. at any point and he has really strong combos really good combos really good advantage state it's just if you put a sword on a character and give it to leo leo's gonna know how to how to play that character within a couple of hours that's just how it feels at this point uh, it's hard to uh, it's hard to disagree with that. And uh, I mean, again, just somebody who just constantly reinvents himself. He says he's going to keep playing Roy. So I'm excited to see where that he goes. Should. I'm excited really to see should. where that goes for sure. Don't don't drop the Joker. Make sure you always got that Joker on tuck. But uh, there's a couple uh, there's some some crazy things that could come out of that, man, because we definitely, you know, we got Cola for sure. But we need like another insane Roy. That player. might be also why he started playing Roy because of what Cola did to him at Collision. Cole Probably did. saw him and was like, I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> he did finally get that W on Leia, which I know he was happy about. So, um, But I know I'm happy about this episode. It was a great one for sure. Um, nice. I mean, we had Light make an appearance to give his rundown, which was cool. We had Shattuck uh, come on and just, just talking to him was a treat. And of course, we had all of you, our lovely audience. And of course, the only thing I have to ask of you guys is make sure you are liking commenting and subscribe to the channel check out the prize pick apps you can just download it sign up and put our code in you don't have to deposit anything but uh, even just doing that does a lot and check out advanced gg as well for some delicious flavors for your drinking appetite and just uh, some general actually some really general uh good um products as well you can use the code lights out to get 10 percent on your code at checkout you know what i'm saying and we are funneling all this in to the light fund to help him get an apartment as soon as possible. So your uh, support means the world and to me. us. Well, you you have a basement now. You're good. It's not mine. Yeah, but you, you're you there. I'm going to have to leave soon. Oh, well, soon ain't now. So we're going to, uh, we'll leave it at that, actually. <laughs> this has been Lights Out episode 52. We'll be back next week for another banger. And we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So take care, everybody. Subscribe. You know the vibes. Peace. Yeah.